Right, welcome back everyone. Here we're going to talk about properties of various construction materials. Okay, so we're going to look at what are the different kinds of construction materials and then the properties of them. Metals, for example, are a part of the construction materials like aluminium and steel. Non-metals like glass and stone. We've got synthetic materials, uh, plastic and synthetic rubber. And we've got natural materials like stone and wood. All right. The properties to consider, obviously how dense they are, how much uh, mass there is in a particular volume. Then obviously the mass and how heavy they are and how we can work with those materials. The hardness, the ability of the stiff material to resist scratches or wear and tear. And then stiffness, the ability of the material not to bend or lose shape under pressure okay so we are then also looking at the flexibility of the materials um, the property of a material to bend and return to its original shape we're looking at corrosion a reaction between um, a metal for example and gases the metal oxidizes to form an oxide layer on the surface so rusting in the case of iron hey? here we can see some plastic pipes which will be very useful. We can see wooden construction there. All right, so the last little bit is then the suitability of these construction materials. Um, they need to fit the purpose for which they were intended, um, and they're determined by their properties, their safety, and their cost effectiveness. So again, we mentioned here toughness, um, stand up to sudden blows or shocks without being damaged, uh, brittleness the material is not able to stand up to any strain and cracks and breaks easily um, stability the ability of a material to resist changes in its shape and size in wet or dry conditions over time and then fatigue the failure of a material caused by repeated scratching okay so those are the some properties and the materials that we use in construction thank you